Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Cucumba tutorial series. So today in this video, we are going to see about hooks. What is hooks and how we can use the hooks in our framework. Okay. So hooks are nothing. It's just a block of code that can run at various point of uh, uh, in the Cucumba execution cycle. Okay. So we have a lot of uh, different hooks types also. Um, so they are typically used for the setup on the DRM. So it means uh, you want to do something before you start your execution. For example, uh, connecting to a database and reading the data, getting some API endpoints, reading Excel sheet, or property files, right? So these kind of things and all, you can have it under before tag. Okay, so before the lesson, before I want to start my execution, so I have to have everything under the before tag. Okay, after execution, I want to take some screenshots or I want to generate some reports, right? Uh, I want to close my drivers. So that those things and all you can have it as a part of your close method, which is a tier down. That will come under the part of after that. Okay, so we have a lot of scenarios. I mean, we have a different types of hooks are available, and you can apply some conditional hooks also. So we'll see one by one. Okay, so you can declare the hooks in any class you want. Uh, so we have something. I mean, the first one is called scenario hooks. Okay, the scenario hooks. Uh, it it the scenario hooks will run for every scenario that you have it on the feature. So for example, in our case, so we have one feature find. So one feature has almost three scenarios, right? So which means for every scenarios, uh, this before tag, right? So before tag, right? So this is going to run, okay? So here you can see scenario hooks run for every scenario. So wherever you use the before tag, and it is going to run for every first step of the each scenario. So for example, in our case, so when I execute this, so before it, I mean, it is coming here, right? So this is the first scenario. So before the first step get executed, our before hooks will be executed. Okay, so that is what is the meaning. Before hooks run before the first step of the each scenarios. Okay, so now in this case, uh, for example, if I have the before tag, right? Before hooks, right? It is going to run for all the scenarios before they run the first step. Okay, so that is what it is meaning. So now, uh, and, and it, it run before even your background also. Okay, that is what we have seen in the when we seeing about the background steps, right? So we can see before hooks. Okay, so in in which run uh, before each scenario, but after any hooks. Okay, that is what means. Okay, so you don't want to. I mean, uh, don't take it as it, it is going to run on the only this this scenario. I mean this step. Okay, so because the background also considered as a kind of step. So even before this background is get executed. Our, our before hook will be executed. That is what they have given. So, but after any before hooks. Okay. So, which means after hooks run, your background will get executed. Okay. We don't want to confuse. So, this is also being considered as a step. Correct. So, for this scenario, I mean, this is a whole scenario. Okay. Including that background also. So, when the file comes here, so automatically the before tag will execute. Then your background step will execute. Then it will come to the when then part. Okay. So, that is what it will do in the this tag right so before tag and after tag for it, it is going to work for every scenario you can see that after hooks run after the last step of the each scenario for example here so when this line is get executed so your after method will be automatically called in the box okay and this is how we have to define before at the rate before is a tag name that we have to provide and you can write something like for example here we have something like the setup and the tier down okay so now let's go to our scenario. So this is my uh, step definition page class, uh, class five. So I'm going to have the tag name as uh, before. I mean, you can have the separate hook file also. That is also fine. Okay, so let me create the different hook files. So what you can do, uh, you can go to uh, any any packages or you can have one more new package also. So I'm going to have this hook file under the steps package. Okay, I'm going to create a new class by the name of hooks, okay? You can create any name like app hooks or web hooks or API hooks or something like that. So here, I'm going to create the first one before, okay? So make sure that you are getting imported from the io.cookba because this hooks, no, it is coming from the cookba. So we have this hook coming from jinit also. If you have, uh, I mean, jinit dependency getting added to the form.xml, so you'll be getting the jinit also, but make sure you are just importing from the io.cookba. Okay, so after this, I'm going to create one method. So public void uh, startup. Okay, 
So this is my method. Uh, I'm going to give some sys of here. So this is uh, people. Oh, okay. So similarly, I'm going to have my author book also. So author. Okay, so this author also makes sure you're importing from the io. So public all here down. So here also I'm going to have the result. Uh, this name is author book. Okay. So now we have created this. So now I'm going to comment out the rest of the scenarios here. Or uh, let's run the everything together. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. We have overall tag here. So now I'm going to run this. Okay, it is going to run all these three scenarios. The last scenarios we have examples with the two data sets. So that is going to run for two iterations. So totally four times. Okay, so we have to confirm that all the four times uh, this before and after hoops are getting printed in the console log. Okay, let's uh, wait for this execution to be completed. After that, we can check. Okay, so it is better to have the hooks file as a separated unit framework uh, because that helps. You don't want to give it to you know, any 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 step definition class files. Okay, instead of having in the step definition, you can have it as a separate class file. Okay, it got executed. You can see. So now uh, it totally got four scenarios because uh, the last one we have two iterations. Let's go to the console and confirm all the time this before hook is printed. Yeah. So the first one uh, before hook is printed. So after the execution, you can see after is also printed. And it is gone for the second one. Second one also before hook started and uh, followed by after is closed. And again before open and before after closed and again before open and after closed. So totally we have four iterations, right? All the four times it got executed. I mean, uh, in the, before each scenarios and after the each scenario, this one also get executed. So this will be called for before each scenario and this will be called i mean this block will be called after every scenario okay so now this is a tag uh, so we have some other tags also okay so when you start down on this the same page you can see something around step hooks right so now we have applied the scenario level hooks so this is called step hooks so even in the step level also if you want to do something for every steps right you can use this before step and after step okay so the step hooks are involved before and after step. The hooks will be involved around, uh, meaning that before step the hook is executed, the after hooks. Okay. So now, uh, if you want to use this, so for example, let's go here. Uh, I'm going to have the step before step, right? And again, this is also coming from ivo.cucumber. So I'm going to have this name. Okay, um, step people method. Okay. So in the sysout, I'm going to give this after the people step hook. And similarly, uh, I'm going to create the after step hook also. And this is also coming from the hook above. So this is going to run for every step that we have given in the visual file okay. after two. Okay. So now uh, I don't want to run everything. So I'm just going to comment out uh, these scenarios. I'm going to run for only one scenario because in the only one scenario itself, we have three steps that is including our background. Okay. So now let's run this case. So now before and after it has to print three times. Let's see. Okay, so the execution is done. Uh, now, when I scroll up, you can see the before hook because this is a scenario that is getting executed. So that's why this before hook is executed. Okay, and it is called for the before step hook, right? So before step hook is executed. So followed by this, which is our first one, which is given in the background. After that, followed by, you can see after step hook is closed. 
right? And again, before cook is started, after is closed, and again, before started, and after will be closed here. So totally three times because we have three steps. One is given, and one is when, and one is done. So totally we have three steps. So that's the reason we got three steps open. I mean, three uh, three times this before step cook printed. And for after every steps, after step cook also printed. Okay, so totally three plus three. So this is going to run before each step in the feature file, I mean scenarios, each steps. So this is going to run after each steps. Okay, so I mean, um, this is, for example, if you want to take some screenshot kind of stuff, you can use this before and after. Okay, otherwise, no, it is not required. In your case, if it is really required, if you, you want to do something for the every steps, then you can apply this. Okay, so then we have one more uh, hoax condition, uh, which is conditional hoax. Okay, so this condition hoax is like a, uh, you can apply along with the tags. So this hoax, right, can be conditionally selected for the particular execution of the scenarios. So for example, uh, we have different uh, scenarios. For example, uh, this has to be executed only for the smoke test, or this has to be executed only for the sanity. Uh, in the in that case, no. For example, if you have different environments like a QA uh, test environment or, or UAT uh, uh, staging environment, right? So you want to uh, get the QA environment data from one one database or particular API. In that case, what you can do, you know, you can define this QA. This is for only QA, and this is run only for the UAT, and this is for only the staging environment, like that. Okay. So when you create this kind of a before after hook, no, you have to provide your tag. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to create. Okay, so after, so let's create this one before. Okay, I'm going to put it here in the before at the rate. Uh, so what are the tags we have? Okay, we have a smoke zone, the tag we have. Okay, smoke. So, and when I come to after, so here also I'm going to put the tag. This is also only for smoke. Okay. So now, uh, if I run this, so wherever the, the scenario that have the name called smoke, only for those scenarios, this block will be called. I mean, our before and the after will be called. Okay. So now let's execute this. So make sure this one has a smoke tag. I'm going to run this now. Okay, so here you can see it got executed uh, before step two, I mean, uh, before two, and here also it is coming as after two. Okay, so now let me comment out these things, otherwise it will be very confusing. Okay, so let's comment out this one. Now I want to uh, have this one as a sanity. So for example, um, let me change this one. Okay, I will delete this one. Okay, so now none of the tags I mean, I have commented out the rest of the scenarios. So we have only one scenario that is planning to execute. So which doesn't have the tag called smoke here. Okay, it has only tag is which is called as a sanity. Okay, the overall also we have tag called overall. So now if I run this, so we should not be seeing this before hook under, uh, okay, I should be comment out this. Okay, so now these two tags, right? So before this block and this block, it should not run because we have a tag only for the smoke, correct? But that the particular feature file does not have the tag called smoke, okay? So now let's run this. Okay, it got executed. Now, if you look at the console, so here you can see there are no hook statement which is coming as a before hook or after hook is not better. Okay, so because uh, we don't have such a tag here, which is which is we have only as a sanity, right? So when I add the smoke tag here, so now this block of the code, right, which is my before and after will get executed. Now I'm going to I have added the smoke tag here as well, so I'm just going to run this now. Now you can see the difference. So we'll be getting this before hook and after hook will be printed in the console. Okay, so here you can see the before hook is printed. So once the execution is done, our after hook will be printed. Yeah, 
So here you can see outer hook is better. So this is called conditional hooks. Okay. So conditional hook again example like uh, if you have some particular environment uh, for QA, only this has to be executed, right? So this connection has to establish, or only for the staging environment this has to be done. So like that you can go for a conditional hooks, and we have something like a global hook also. So this is global hook right? So before all, you have to use it as a before all. So this is going to run before any scenario runs. Okay, and after all, it will run after all the scenario have been executed. Okay, it's a kind of like a global hooks. Okay, so one time. So before all the scenarios, it will run. After all the scenarios, it will run. So this one also you can have. I'm going to have this before all. Right, so this is also coming from the Cucumber. Okay. The same thing. Before this is so let me change the name for the method. Okay, so this is going to run before any scenarios, and this is after all the scenario has been executed. So this is also, again, it's based on your condition where you want to put, I mean, uh, the global hooks on your, I mean, on your project, you can operate them, okay? So now if I execute, so first time it is going to print the before all, then it will print the before. Okay, let me run this. So here you can see uh, before all printed first time, then followed by before hook, then after hook, after all, right? So it means these two uh, hooks, it is it is going to run on the overall as a global level. Okay, so if I don't, if I remove the static now, this will not run. Okay, you will be getting some error. So make sure you are adding the static keyword in the before all and the after all. So that is what they also recommended here. You can see. So in the above methods, you don't see the static keyword, but here you can see something like a static keyword. Okay. So make sure when you when you go for a before all after all, make sure you have the static keyword. So now you can see I got some error. Nothing got executed. So when I go here, I can see the method annotated before all must have one of these signature. Okay, which is a static. Okay. So that they I mean they have done the implementation. Okay. So that's why we have to add the static keyword in the before all and after all. Okay. So now in this uh, before hooks also right so you can go for the order of the hooks so you can have multiple before hooks so for example here i'm going to give it as one more before hook so, so let me copy the same thing okay i'm going to remove this name and, and one more thing before i go for this so if you want to use something like a value also possible so value equal to so like this also you can use the tag okay this will also work fine so instead of only providing the tag value like this, you can do like this also. Value equal to under edge box. This will also work fine. Okay, so let me copy this and I paste it here. So now I have two tags. I, I want to, I mean, I have two before tags. I want to run in the order. Okay, this is startup one and this is startup two. Okay, and this is one I'm going to give it as hyphen one and this is going to give it as a hyphen two. So which means uh, I have to do something under before uh, the hook one and before hook two. Okay. So what I can give you, know, I can give the order values here. So it is similarly, how do you define in the test entry, right? So we'll give the orders like a one zero. It will start from zero, one, two. Similarly, I'm going to put it as a zero here. And here I'm going to give it as a one. So which means it will go in the order. So it will come to the before tag. So first it, it, it has a priority as a zero and it has the so in test engine, we'll give it as a priority, right? So in in Cucumber, we are using as an order. So here uh, we will go as a zero one. So this will execute first, then followed by this will execute, then it will go to our step Okay. Now I'm going to run this. Yeah. So here you can see before all executed because we have before all tag also. So after that, followed by 
we have got executed this before one. After the before one, it followed by the before two. Okay, so here you can see. So likewise, you can put the order. For example, here I'm doing some property readings, uh, property file readers, or connecting to the database, something like that. So in the two, I can I can go for launch by Chrome driver or browser in Satan. That part I can grab it under in the uh, before tag two. Okay, so these things also you can do. So that is what all about this uh, tags. I mean, in the hooks, uh, you can use different types of hooks like a step level, a scenario level, as well as the overall, which is uh, future. Correct. So these are the tab. Uh, I mean, hooks are available in the book number. You can, you can just try. And if you have any doubts or clarifications, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay. So that's all about this video. We'll see the next topic in the next videos. Thank you guys.